Hey all you cool cats and kittens. <laughs> Oh, I've been waiting to say that. Have you guys been watching the Tiger documentary? It's been everywhere. I feel like everyone's talking about it. Alex and I have been watching it for a while. It's taking us a really long time to get through it, like it does with everything, because uh, we only have like a short period of time at the end of the day. And that documentary is definitely not kid approved. You know what I mean? It's definitely not kid appropriate. So, uh, oh, welcome to today. You wanna hang out with me today? Okay, let's do that. <laughs> what are we doing today? Uh, well, first on my to-do list is not gaining the quarantine 15. So far, I'm doing a really bad job because I had pancakes this morning, uh, but I did slice up some strawberries, so does that like even itself out? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. But riding that train, I figured we have some ripe bananas. Maybe I will share with you my banana bread recipe. It is superb. You might like it just as much as my chocolate chip recipe. Just saying, Pr probably not. Nothing beats the chocolate chip recipe, really. Uh, zucchini, I've been wanting to make zucchini bread because I feel like zucchini is like the new cauliflower. You know what I mean? It's like making its way into everything. Um, oh, and then for dinner, I'll share with you what I'm making for dinner. I'm not entirely sure yet, but I really wanna share with you my 30 minute roll recipe. So I feel like I'll just shove it in this video and then I'll, I'll work dinner around the rolls. <laughs> the rolls will be the main event, the main attraction. Right now, Sweet Meredith is sleeping, so I feel like I could get some stuff done, but also feel like it's my time to rest. Have you seen that meme? I don't even know if it's a meme, but I, I saw it somewhere, probably on Instagram, and it was like some something along the lines of, have you guys still been wearing your Fitbits, or have you guys been, have you guys still been counting your steps? Oh man, I should just look it up. Oh, fine, I'll look it up. I always butcher things when it's from memory, so I'm really hyping this joke up and you're probably not even gonna laugh at it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know how long ago I took the dang screenshot. Oh man, did I take a screenshot? <laughs> this isn't the one I wanted to share with you, but this one's funny too. It says, I have now been alive for five decades, 1980s, 90s, 2000s, 2010s, and March. <laughs> That's a good one. Aw oh, man, maybe I didn't take a screenshot of it. Oh my gosh, finally found it. Seriously, 30 minutes later. How many calories are you guys burning per day? For me, it's six. <laughs> Was that worth the wait? Probably not. All right, let me show you what I've already done today. I just asked Alex, hey, is Wentworth with you? <laughs> He's in the box. Oh my gosh, that's a good playpen right there. You want me to hide with you? Yeah. Don't know if I'll be able to fit. I've got the quarantine 15. Okay, so this morning I came in here, rearranged a little bit. The desk I put up against the window so she wouldn't be sitting in like this hole over here. She always looked dark when she was doing her virtual school, so I just moved the keyboard over in this little closet cubby. And, oh my gosh, I wish I had a before clip for you before I started cleaning, but this was a disaster zone. I'll try to insert insert whatever I have. And then we put the desk over here so when she's on, people can actually see her and not just a shadow of her. So it'll probably stay like that for until May, until they go back. Are they going back in May? We don't know. When are your kids going back to school? I don't know. Oh my gosh, I did diapers. I almost forgot. I have to hang diapers too. Let me do that. Oh my gosh, speaking of outside, um, it's 70 degrees, which to you probably sounds like a dream, whatever. It's like a cold front here in Florida. I put on my cardigan because I was like, mm, it's, I'll, it'll probably come off in like five minutes because once the sun comes up, it'll be hotter. But uh, it feels nice. The kids have not been in the pool yet today, which is a change of pace because they've been in it every single day for the past how long has this quarantine been? A million days? So we'll just have to like do stuff inside. We'll just keep Wentworth busy with the box. Throw some crayons in there. Throw a snack or two, granola bar, and we're good for the day. Okay, um, let me grab my diapers and we'll hang them outside. Get some vitamin D. Avelina's got a two minute dance party. Where you at? Where you at? <laughs> Peanut butter jelly. <laughs> Avelina likes to be have her own space while she's doing schoolwork. And Eleanor's on a break trying to call one of her friends. I actually have so much laundry. I don't know where it's all coming from because we're literally living in PJs 24-7. I think this is all clean. That is full of clean clothes. But I need to hang... Why was this open? These are clean. 
they need to be hung. And that's a pile of dirty crap. I'm not doing it today, I'm not. Well, I might. I've been loving my drying rack, I'm just saying. Ah! Oh, really? I was just singing your praises. Good as new. It feels so good outside that I opened the windows. But I love the feeling of like the windows being open and the fresh air inside the house. It reminds me of October, even though it's April. Is it April? It is, oh my gosh. It's April Fool's today, and I thought, oh my gosh, wouldn't this be a fun trick? I've seen it on Pinterest for many, many years. I've never played an April Fool's tr prank on my kids, but I think this one they're going to enjoy, and it's super easy, so I'll share that with you after we do the laundry. Should I tell you what it is? Should I spoil the surprise? I'm gonna make them brownies. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, back to diapers. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Meredith's awake. She's just hanging out, so. I'll, I'll leave her in there until she fusses. <gasps> what is that? What do you have? A dead frog. A dead frog. Wow. And not, and not actually not a real frog. It's actually not a real frog. It looks like a real dead frog, bud. Hey, you good at making me lose my mind, but I always come around, don't I? And I know sometimes I'm bringing you down, but I always make you smile, don't I? And that is what happiness looks like. <laughs> We're like the waves on a big blue storm, you see. The best good afternoon, Meredith. <laughs> Did you have a good nap? Did you have a good nap? By the way, here's the sweet new stroller that finally came in after three weeks. Full of potato chips, don't ask me why. But I was thinking maybe we could go on a walk one of these days. The trail that I used to run goes by the Big Cat Rescue, and I think that's pretty cool. And one of my friends was like, yeah, sometimes I would hear the cats making noise, so what do you think? <clears throat> How about what? Going on the trail. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Throw the kids over the fence. Do you? <laughs> I'm not even sure if the trail is open at this point. I mean, it's a really large trail, so I imagine it's open. Just practice like social distancing and stuff. But I don't know if we'll be able to like hear the lions and tigers and bears. Look what I just cut. Yeah! This is the single coolest thing I've ever done as a mom. Put some brown E's in there. <laughs> and cover it up. They'll be none the wiser. Kind of looks like brownies from the side. Not really. Finally. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. <laughs> oh my goodness. Meredith's got a cute little kitty cat on. I love when she does like the happy baby pose. Hi, honey. Hi, Hi, sweetie girl. You gonna do happy baby? Hi, honey. You gonna say hi? Hi. <laughs> what do you want to do today? Oh, really? Wow. Where you going? Where are you going? What are you doing? <laughs> Sweetest girl in the world is Meredith. Meredith. Doing some PE. A couple more. Show me your lunge twist. Oh, a lunge and a twist. That was good work. Okay, guys. I made you some brownies. No, those are not brownies. Those are hey, here we go. I They're can't fake. wait. Open it's it up. Here we go. Look at this! It's April Fool's, see? Avelina. Brownies! <laughs> I made you some brownies! I knew this would be a- Oh yeah, I'm gonna make Wendy out of these. That's a great idea. Good stuff. Thank you, Mom. Loser. <laughs> you know, 
No one can take it off. <laughs> Wentworth's trying to eat it anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna save these for next year. This crazy boy decided to jump in. The, what is it? 50 degrees in there? Yeah. Ice water? Yeah. Taking an ice bath? It's really freezing cold. It's really freezing cold. Yeah. You are gonna get pneumonia. Big girl, look, she's sitting up. She's so big. Meredith, you're so big. <laughs> Use those ab muscles. Oh, Meredith, you're getting so big. Meredith. Hi, honey. Okay, the baby is with dad right now. I am gonna whip up some banana bread. And I'm using this bowl because I love it so much. We're in like the, the newness phase. So I'm using it for everything. Made some pancakes. Let me just put these dishes away really quickly. We're a little messed up, baby. Kind of up and down and we keep going till we hit the ground. But then we, oh, we get back up again. These brownies were not a success, but you know what? You win some, you lose some. It's been a hot second since I made banana bread, so I need my recipe if I can find it. There it is. Oh my gosh, look at this. Banana bread, you can screenshot that. Oh, I didn't soften any butter yet. And then right below it, 30 minute dinner rolls. Was this video meant to be? I'm gonna say yes. I figured with the dinner rolls, I'm just gonna make my spaghetti sauce and leave it in the crock pot for the day until it's dinner time. Okay, what do I need? Four bananas, that's why I love this recipe so much. It uses four bananas. But I only have three, so I stole one from my freezer. Brown sugar, two eggs. I do not have enough flour, I'm gonna have to go get some. And this is my workout for the day. This is a mess. There's got to be an easier way to do that. <laughs> what do we start with? Oh, butter. Okay, I got to tell you, my brother has a very similar recipe to mine, but his always comes out better. And do you know why? It, his calls for two sticks of butter. I have, how many tablespoons are in here? It's probably around six tablespoons. And then I have a stick with, I don't know, four more tablespoons. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna soften this in the fridge. In the fridge, yep. Oh no, 10 seconds. Grab some water. What's well, good for this one? That one's done. Where's my cup? Whatever. That's good. Cheers to you. Getting through this isolation. All right, where were we? <laughs> Not very far. Three quarters cup of brown sugar. I better have three quarters cup in here because if I have to fill this thing up too, I mean, I'm just prolonging the inevitable because no one, it's not like anyone else is going to fill this thing up. I bet, you know what? That's good. We'll just put it all in. I'll fill it up next time. What's next? You cream that. I have a feeling this is going to make me love my KitchenAid that much more. <laughs> I can do it. It's like a little arm workout, right? We could all use one of those. Oh yeah, this takes me back. Takes me back to the old days before I had my KitchenAid or an electric mixer. <laughs> I kind of like it. An arm workout for sure. I'm not kidding about that one. Hello, Meredith. You want some banana bread? Two eggs. I think that's the next step. Pretty sure. Crack them open and mix them in. Oh my gosh, my arm. All right, what's next? A third cup Greek yogurt. Well, I don't have that, so... My husband bought sour cream for chimichangas. Sorry, I'm using some of it. What do we need, a third cup? That looks pretty good. Maybe a little more. Two cups of mashed bananas, which is pretty much four bananas. Delightful. You can mash these before you add them, but you don't have to. I could have waited one more day to make this, but ugh, that's extra sugar, my friend. Mash that up. You know what? I don't really like chunky bananas. Oh man, where is it? Found it. You know what, why don't people talk about that word? It's always tomato, tomato. Why don't people say 
banana banana. I'm just putting it out there. Oh, I'm using my pastry blender to like not get it so chunky, you know? Because God forbid I taste bananas in the banana bread. This comes together really quickly, actually. Let me preheat the oven. All right, this is looking good. Vanilla extract, got that out. Two cups flour. Feels like a mess. A mess, I know. Baking might be a mess. That's the fun part of baking. She said it. So we're gonna use that. <laughs> you go ahead and add that in. One teaspoon baking soda. Technically, this makes one banana bread, but mine sometimes overflows, probably because I don't actually do correct measurements. So I like to do two, but I can't find my other bread pan, so I'm just using what I have. It doesn't matter. Do you want to add chocolate chips? Yes, chocolate chip banana bread. No season. Woo! We'll do the rest of it. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. 30 minutes, cover it with foil, Driving and then another 30 days minutes. And nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. And I, I really want to know, really want to know. If I will ever figure out where the road goes. She shaped these little, um, like, reindeer eel things. I don't know if you can see that good. But, um, they're E's. Yeah, they're E. A brown E. Oh! Make brownies. Uh huh. <laughs> I made brownies! <laughs> <laughs> Is that the reindeer eel? Oh. I'm going to start on my famous tomato sauce. I thought about using the rouse that I just bought from Costco. But then I thought, well, what else am I doing? Let me make my own sauce. It smells good. It smells like an onion. It's delicious. Okay, so I cut up a whole onion because I really love onion. You guys know this. If you don't like onion, leave it out. Or use half. Use whatever you want. If you don't have an onion, don't use it. I thought you cut them in four. And then... Does it hurt your eyeballs? No. Does it make your eyes water? <laughs> Can't stand the heat! And the onions are making Eleanor cry. <laughs> okay, I'm using my saute feature. Ooh, it's hot. It's ready to go. <laughs> I have a half a pound of ground beef just from the other day. I didn't use it all. And then I have a full pound of sausage. Normally I do this the other way around. Should I add the whole pound? I feel like just half a pound is good. Half a pound is plenty. I don't need all that. So I don't know when our camera shut off, but it did. Um, I just have a whole onion diced up in here. I'm making tomato sauce. Did we get that far? Um, with a half a pound each of sausage and ground beef. And I'm using my saute feature, because I never have before, and why not? This is the time to try new things. So this is nice and browned. We're gonna add the tomatoes. You wanna dump it in, Eleanor? <laughs> and I'm just gonna smush the tomatoes. Normally, I would put these in my food processor, but I can just smush them. And then a can of tomato paste. Not and, well, that took just as long as it would have for me to clean my food processor, so uh, do what you want. And then I add, I fill this up with water and I add that in. Um, I think you're supposed to put a little bit of salt because the tomatoes came from a can, but I never do that. I mean sugar to cut the acid, salt and pepper, and then you're supposed to add some garlic. I don't have any, so I'm gonna use some seasonings. Hope that works. And then the star of the show, some Italian seasoning. Just dump that right in. Oh my God, it's like snow. <laughs> Let it snow. Let it snow. I love baking, that's why I'm so good at it. She's modest too. <laughs> so here's what it looks like. I'm gonna pop the lid on this thing, and then what am I gonna do with it? Slow cooker? Two hours? Sounds good to me. Oh, here she is. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. This might be just as good as the cookies. It is so moist, probably because of the extra butter, but 
This is a smash hit in our house, always. I need to make it more often. It's that good. You're in the laughing mood, aren't you? A big, 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 big. A big, big, big. Here's the sauce after sitting for two hours. I'm having Alex taste test it and Wentworth is screaming for his life. Down the hatch. Much too good for children. Really? I would say it's gourmet. Gourmet. No, for real? The kids aren't going to eat it. It's too gourmet. Too gourmet? Look at the consistency, honey. Look at that. It's like something you would find in an Italian restaurant. Gourmet restaurants don't serve spaghetti sauce. <laughs> gourmet restaurants use Instapots. <laughs> okay, now we're arguing about what is gourmet and what isn't. And he said, isn't Buco de Pepos gourmet? Uh, you guys, I do you remember Buco de Pepos? Any of you? It's like you go in, you get a platter of food that serves four people for like 10 bucks. Yeah, well, it's more like, you know. 12? No, I think it's like 20 bucks, but you still feed four people for like $20, so. You, I don't know, I think it's gourmet. I think gourmet it's high, restaurants don't have anything for $12 other than drinks. I don't even know, are they around anymore, Buco de Pepos? I don't know, not here. Well, what about I'm sure they're Ol still Olive Garden's like uh, 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 faux uh, gourmet, but they sell, they sell Olive spaghetti. Garden is not gourmet, Olive Garden. But they try to be gourmet. We don't eat out much. <laughs> They try to be gourmet. Burns, Burns. Burns, Burns. Steakhouse is yeah. gourmet. Yes. You think they sell spaghetti? No. I. It's a steakhouse. I don't know. Let's call. <laughs> Let's call. They're closed. I bet. Oh yeah. <laughs> Too soon. Okay, here we go. Cooking with a baby. Thirty-minute rolls. Let's do it. Every. But you know what? I discovered the other day. I don't yeah, know if you can see. One. She has that stork bite on her neck, but then she also has a hemangioma up in there. There it goes, it focuses. Isn't that crazy? We just, oh, okay. We just noticed it. And does anybody else's babies rip themselves apart? She grabs, she rips her forehead. <laughs> Look at her side. Whenever she's tired, she just starts oh, clawing yeah. and clawing. I know, babies do that. They try to self-soothe, Dad. What? It's like this is your first baby or something. You don't no, even know not. about it. I'm not saying it's my first baby. I'm saying that no one's ever done it as bad as she does it. I hate them. <laughs> I clip her nails. Hello, baby. I clip her nails probably twice a month. Oh yeah, never. <laughs> this is how we play virtually with our cousins. <laughs> two tablespoons of yeast, one cup, and two tablespoons warm water. Warm, not hot, not cold, Goldilocks style. One third cup of oil, and a quarter cup of sugar. Mix that around and let it sit for 15 minutes gonna bloom. Oh my gosh, I just had the closest call in the history of close calls. I was fixing my camera back on the stand because I changed the battery. Literally hit the bowl and then fell on the stove top. It would have, if it would have fallen the other way, oh my gosh, I would have never heard the end of it from my husband. He's like telling me I should buy a backup camera <laughs> every day. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so this is nice and proofed, bloomed, whatever you want to call it. I also have bread flour here. I typically am not fancy and don't have this stuff, but I keep it around just for this recipe. I keep it in my freezer. You need three, how many cups? One egg and then three and a half cups of bread flour. Oh crap, was that two? Oh man, a jamma. I think that was two. That's a three and a half. I just hurt my fingers. Uh, look how good this looks. We're gonna let this sit. I don't think you have to oil the bowl. It'll be just fine. Let this sit for ideally 10 minutes, but I'm gonna go on a walk with my family, so I'm gonna leave it a little bit longer. Also, do you notice these lunch boxes? Pray for me. <laughs> I haven't emptied them from when school got out. 
Also, if you're doing the 30 minute rule, it's a good idea to preheat your oven at this time because it takes about 10 minutes for it to get to 400 degrees. So, tip. Hi, honey. Oh, so sweet. <laughs> He's got his shirt on backwards again because he went in the pool. <laughs> Those eyebrows. All right. Wowza. So we were gone for a while. Um, actually, you're not supposed to let it rest like this. You're supposed to form it into balls and then let it rest. So uh, do what I say, not what I do. I'm going to do that right now. Into the oven at 400 for 10 minutes after you let them rest for 10 minutes. Are you kidding me? There is a puddle of butter. So it makes them taste good. Look at that. Delicious! I'm gonna put more butter in the middle. <laughs> Delicious! And then we, we always get back up again. We're a little messed up. <laughs> Congratulations, yes, you were praised. <laughs> he said he's sore already. <laughs> there we go, there we go. And he's got house slippers on. Oh, yeah. Nonetheless. Meredith is itching to go. Uh oh. You got it. Hey, oh. We want her to see. Show her how you do hopscotch. See what she wants to see. <gasps> hopscotch! You want to do it too? You bubbles? Yes, bubbles. You want to do hopscotch? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are you rolling over? You're just playing? Yeah. <laughs> the true happy baby. That's what you are. You're pulling your socks off. Yeah. Who needs them? It's pretty hot now. Yes, it is. Hey guys, I filmed an outro, but I can't find it anywhere, and I figure you would rather look at sweet Meredith anyway. But that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed your time. Actually, you know what? I know you enjoyed your time because that was an incredible episode. That's a callback to Jack Black. Do you watch his channel? I don't. <laughs> Alex does. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time, okay? Bye.